Hello everybody, welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. This is Hi Will, I am Will. And yeah, that's it. Before I tell you that obviously we're gonna watch Shira and the Princess of Power, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story that that's the why um I've been like on my room 30 minutes ago, like just walking and Kind of cleaning because my room was kind of a mess and I want to show you guys that's my room like if you guys haven't seen it Yeah, like super normal room my port my Portugal room. I have the other one in in the UK Sorry, I was just looking at me um, I have another one in the UK and bitch can you just do it for me uh, That's it <laughs> So I just wanted to give you like the impression that I'm kind of like That I'm clean. I'm a good I'm a good, um, responsible boy. So let's pretend that's true. No, actually, I I am responsible and I like to be organized. But depends on stuff. My room is like the last thing that I'm gonna be worried about. Like, kitchen needs to be clean. Um, bathroom needs to be clean too. Living room, same. But like. My room, it's my room, like nobody sees it, now you guys are seeing it, so that's why it's pretty and not messy. So yeah. And besides that, I have been dealing <coughs> on the last 13 minutes with a teenage problem, which led me so hyped, because I haven't had a teenage problem, like literally school, high school problem. Since my kind of the middle of my um, 11th grade, because that was the point that I was like, no, I want to get out of Portugal, so I have to work really hard. So I start um, doing a lot of exercise because I was on an acting school, so that helped me a lot. I um, I stayed later when like when people got out got out of the classes, I would just be there or classes slash studio when people get out of the studio I'll just like be there working out by myself and doing some exercises to just evolve and that's what I did and now I'm in the UK not now actually because I'm in Portugal but now I'm studying in the UK you guys have seen my UK house and yeah it's been fun like having a teenage problem like it's nice to know that people still talk about me on my old high school <laughs> I don't know. I was like a person that I was just, I was just there kind of sometimes I had drama, but um, When I was in the middle of the 11th grade it stopped because I just stopped hanging out to people that like would cause the drama and Yeah, I was just focused on a on a thing and I got that and basically my last year on high school that was the 2020 It was COVID so I had half of my year in in my house, in my room, my room, no, my literally my house. So of course there was no big drama there. Still, I had like some, but I don't call it like a teen problem. So this was kind of fun for 30 minutes. Like having a drama involving me was fun. I mean, yeah, just fun. <sighs> okay, with that said, today we're gonna watch Shira and the Princesses of Power season one, episode four. And the synopsis of this episode is okay. The name of the episode is "Flowers, Flowers for Shira." Adora and her friends undertake a relief mission to the. Biz I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna know how to say these words, but besiege, besiege, whatever kingdom of Plumeria. That's my drama there. <laughs> The Shadow Weaver still wants Catra to bring Adora back. So, my predictions to this episode. First, it's a wish, not a prediction. I hope this episode's not like filler stuff, because normally on the show, that's like episode 4 kind of gets the filler stuff. And if you've seen my videos, you know that I don't really like those episodes and most of the cartoons. I'm not going to say like shows, because shows don't have them a lot. There's so that's certainly some shows that have them, but cartoons is more like a thing so I hope this is not like the beginning of a filler episode thing yeah so 
Um, I feel like this is gonna be a good episode to kind of give it a big start to Adora, um, Bo, and Glimmer relationship, like a group, because there are three main characters. I can see that by the intro. And um, I want to see like the Shadow Weaver trying to put Catra against Adora, but I want to see her like fighting it a little bit. I know that she's gonna be like an enemy. I can see that by the intro too. Intro, you're giving me too much spoilers, but uh, yeah, I want to see her fighting because they were like best friends, maybe lovers. For me, they're lovers. They just don't know that yet, but. Yeah, that's my prediction to it. I wanna, I want Catra to fight like that. I know she'll eventually like, okay, I uh, will do it, and she'll be full of rage by Adora leaving. But yeah, I wanna see she, I wanna see her fighting a little bit against. No, she's my friend. That's it. I don't wanna fight her. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see the old lady too. She's kind of mysterious. Mysterious. Ooh, I hope I said that right. Um. So yeah, that's my predictions and wishes for this episode. So guys, without further ado, let's watch Shira and the Princesses of Power. This is awesome! I can't believe Mom agreed to let you stay in Right Moon. I can't believe it either, because she's a villain. Until she sacrifices herself to save Shira, until she dies to save Shira, I'm gonna say she's a bad. She's a bad person. She's a villain. It just was too easy. Probably she's not, but I'm still. I'm still here. I'm still. Hmm. What a mood. Guys, my pillows in the UK, one of them, it's always doing this. I'm always with feathers in my room. You guys should see my floor. It's full of feathers. I feel your pain a lot. Adora, my daughter believes you can help us. Glimmer has vouched for you despite your background. And because I greatly love my daughter, I am willing to give you a chance. Do not disappoint her. See, she she's not like, um, like what I said, being a villain and thinking like, how can I use Shira to my own, like, advantage? Uh, I'll use my, I'll to use Shira to my advantage. But she's already like, I don't trust you, but my daughter does, so I'm watching you. That's how I am with her, with the queen. But yeah, it's kind of sad that her husband died because of the horde, and I and I see why it would be hard for her to like trust in Adora. But she's not the one who killed him. This is the one. This is the kind of situation that just you can only talk if you've been there, and I haven't, and I think a lot of us didn't. So, yeah. I couldn't sleep in my room. I've never slept without any other people around before, and oh, then I ran into. That was so deep, like cute and sad at the same time. She now she just she just looks like a little kid. Like I never sleep alone in my room. So can I stay with you? Well, she didn't ask. She was just there. But it's cute. I like it. She doesn't like me. What? Swear. My mom loves you. Yeah, sure, she loves She-Ra. Exactly. She wouldn't have invited you if she didn't like you. Mm, we'll see. I have a better idea. We can fight the horde. Lemma, you propose this idea every meeting. No! I was gonna say, let's use aggressive fist-to-face sparkles. I said no, Glimmer. Now sit down. Now this would be something annoying if you were like planning a war, like every time a person would just say the same shit. And you'll be like, I said no 100 times, so just no. Yeah, I would be on the queen's size. Size. Side. 
I promise I won't disappoint you. <laughs> I doubt that. Why aren't you dressed? Oh, Lonnie, Lonnie, sweet, dumb Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. You guys don't change clothes. So it's normal that she's not with the uniform because you never saw her with the uniform. That's why. We brought food and supplies for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this scene. It's gonna be the best thing of the episode. Our majestic trees. And this is the heart blossom, the center of our kingdom. The, the tree just the tree just died. <laughs> I'm liking this. But we don't dwell on the negative. Look at the positive. The heart blossom's still healthy. And the She-Ra is here. And the celebration's about to begin. Celebration? <gasps> this girl would be the exactly person that would annoy me a lot. Because she's always happy. And I'm always happy. So at some point I would be like, shut up. <laughs> but here, I'm loving her. She's a perfect mood. Like, everything's a mess and everybody's dying. But everything's gonna be fine because you're here. No pressure. <laughs> what a mood. Finding Adora is crucial to the Horde's mission. The mission is to kill the Whisperer. Wait, does she cares for Adora like personally like she loves her like family love? Cause I thought at first I thought that this was just like I want Adora back because she she will be Shiro or she is Shiro or whatever, but how could she know that? I mean, if she stole her as a baby, she would know that, but I don't know, she looks like she cares about her. Not not just about her power. Maybe I'm wrong. What stories? The stories we've been telling for thousands of years. She-Ra, the warrior who tamed the beast of Beast Island with a single word. That's nothing. What about the time She-Ra defeated a squad of Horde soldiers on a flying horse? Oh no, she's gonna be like, she's gonna start feeling the pressure of being this like legend that she is not yet because they see Shira as the only person and she was not Shira. So she, I think she's gonna f like start feeling the pressure of being this myth and she will probably think on giving up or something like that. Like maybe I'm not good enough, which she is. We've saw that because she is Shira, but yeah, I think she's gonna be thinking on that. Stuff. This is my power. I grow plants. We're not strong enough to go up against the horde. All we want is to live peacefully in our ancestors. Girl, you have the power to control plants. Haven't you, like, read a DC comic or watch any of the movies? Poison Ivy, you got the power, just like Willow from the Howl House. You, you control plants. You basically, you basically control planet Earth. Maybe not in like, um, five hundred years, probably not. Maybe you should be like Magneto from X Men that controls metal because the humans are fucking up our planet. But for now, you still have the power. So maybe you could use it, like, to save the nature, use the nature. Just saying. <laughs> she just did the same shit to Orsi. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm happy that that, that was not just a one-time thing. I like it. <laughs> it was cool. I'm just not the same, Shira. Then... You can't save us? <coughs> I'm happy she did this, like, telling the people that she's not the myth, the legend, she's just... <clears throat> well, I think it's wrong, she's saying I'm just a girl, because she was chosen to be Shira, but... She's more than just that. 
but I'm happy that people know that she is not just this mighty powerful thing she's a real person with real feelings and she doubts herself and that's good that she's doubting it she needs to doubt herself to be better and stronger than yesterday if Shira can't save us no one can right now we just need to make sure our people are safe we leave today I said I like you, blonde princess of plants with queen whatever. I don't like you anymore. You're like those types of person that are just like, the world is a shit. So if you can't help me, it will just die. Because I have the power to it, but I just can't use it. Because I don't want to try it. And that's so annoying. Why? You have the power, fight for it. I want you to be like a badass. I'm giving you that, like, thought, be a badass. Don't be just sitting and waiting for somebody to save your land, just do it. You're our friend. Really? How much time do these guys have met? Like some weeks, maybe one and something? I want to see the development of their friendship, because until now it just looks like they, they brought her to the kingdom because she was Shira. Because at first she didn't trust her. So I want to see this friendship being like. Having re I want them to have the reasons to say like those things. Because for me, this is going too fast on a friendship build up. Because the way they talk, it looks like they're already best friends and they're not Glimmer and Bo. Bo but we have Glimmer and Bo are, but Adora, she needs time to fit in the group. Where did they got those clothes? I wanted to say I'm sorry. I couldn't be the hero you wanted. Adora. You are not the hero they want, but you are the hero they need. Quote me on this. This is our home. We can't let her do this alone. Finally. Get the war times! We march! Go! Save your fucking land! I've never been so alive! <laughs> <laughs> I like you again. Thanks, Queen of Plants, slash we, slash whatever. <gasps> Yay! She healed the land in the end. That's what I wanted. I still think there could be more development there, but we work what we have. No matter where Adora goes, no matter how long it takes, my shadow spies will find her. Find her and bring her home. What is Okay, so this is where Catra missions begin, but I'm happy that she doesn't want to. That's that's a nice thing, because they're friends again, and she's not full of rage as I thought, but she doesn't want to go after her best friend too, and I like that that little touch. It makes the character look truth, truthful like a real person. I like that. Bo and I thought we'd throw you a sleepover. Then you won't feel so alone. This is friendship development that I enjoy and I like and I think makes sense so after this every time they say that they're friends and they love her I'm gonna be positive about it because I've seen clear signs of it like they're helping each other as people not just fighting and whatever they did in the last episodes let's throw a sleepover Oh, I haven't had sleepover by many years. We're just thinking of that. My last sleepover. Well, it wasn't that many years. But like with a lot of people. And mom said she'd consider my plan to recruit new princesses into the rebellion. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yes, because she finally had a new plan. Instead of let me have them all or let's 
uh, three, four people fight them, which would be like a suicide mission. Bring Suicide Squad for that. She actually has a good plan. It's like re recruit all of the princesses. That's probably where we're gonna meet the mermaid. Hope you the next episode. Um, that's a good plan and that's a good thing. Like her mom said yes because it's a different plan and it's good. It actually makes sense. So yes, I'm happy for you, Glimmer. You finally had a good plan. Yay. So my thoughts on this episode. I'm actually happy. Fuck you. Um, I'm actually really happy of, of this episode. I thought it, it would like start being a, a filler thing, but it doesn't. It's not a filler episode and it's nice. And now I kind of can predict that we're gonna recruit different princesses and that's why it's called Chira and the uh, princesses of power. So yeah, it was a nice episode and it was good because it had development to their friendship and that's really nice. It's nice to see that Catra doesn't want to find Adora because she still likes her and they're still like best friends and whatever. I'm happy that's a thing because my speculation was that she like, she, she kind of is angry because she left and you can definitely see that but I thought she was just gonna take the mission to just be like, you have to find Adora and bring her back and she would just be like, yes. Shadow Weaver, I will. And I would not like that. So I'm happy that they went with the way of like, I don't want to, but I will do it because if not, you're gonna kill me. Kind of, this is where we're going. And about the mom, the, the queen. It was nice to see that um, it wasn't like a, oh, you're Shira and I love you because yes, she's from the Orden. We can see it because of the um, her husband that now is dead because of the Ord that she's gonna have some time to take before like accepting accepting Adora as Shira and whatever ever. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty good episode. I think I like the. The I don't know the, her name. Sorry, I'm, she, they they probably spoken like not many times. So I'm just gonna call her Queen of Forest Weed, whatever the the land of flowers. Yeah, I I like her vibe, like peace and love and peace. But then I love to fight. Can I just punch people? That was a good energy too. So yes, let's go to high rankings. I'm gonna rank this episode as uh, seven because I thought their friendship was a little bit over like done I don't know overrated that's I don't know if that's what people call it, would call it but yeah they were just like on the beginning be like yay we're super friends and we love you because you're adorable not because you're Shiro I don't know that just felt a little bit unnatural for me and that's why it's a seven but for the other party I mean I, I actually like it a lot I mean the fight was cool they didn't made her do like um, the healing thing on the beginning, which thank God they didn't. So yeah, I'm really happy. I really want to see more and I, I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that the next one is going to be the mermaid one. So yes, I'm ex super excited for the next one because again, I'm saying I love mermaids. I love the sea mythology and Greek, Greek mythologies and gods and semi-gods. Percy, Percy Jackson was like a big thing for me, like just kind of pushed me to, to, to that world. So yeah, hmm, that's something that I want to react because I know there's going to be a show about it. So if the show becomes a thing, because I think it's confirmed already, but when it becomes, I will be reacting to it. Maybe I just say this out loud. I want to, but I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, this was the video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe, comment, whatever I said before. Oh, this video is super big. It's 44 minutes. Fuck. So, I guess this is it. This is I Will, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. And if you're still here, don't forget to see my other playlist. Or if you haven't seen my my Shira video, you can still do it. So, yeah, this is it. Bye.